John said, An angel showed me the river of life-giving water, sparkling like crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the street. On either side of the river grew the tree of life that produces fruit twelve times a year, once each month. The leaves of the tree serve as medicine for the nations. Nothing accursed will be found any more. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will look upon his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. Night will be no more, nor will they need light from lamp or sun. For the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, the God of prophetic spirits, sent his angel to show his servants what must happen soon. Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the prophetic message of this book. From the Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. Let's listen to Pope Francis' commentary. E noi, fratelli e sorelle, domandiamoci, in che cosa stiamo investendo la vita? And we, brothers and sisters, let us ask ourselves, on what are we investing our lives? On things that pass, such as money, success, appearance, physical well-being, we will take away none of these things. Are we attached to earthly things, as if we were to live here forever? When we are young and healthy, everything is fine, but when the time comes to depart, we have to leave everything behind. The Word of God warns us today, this world will pass away and only love will remain. To base one's life on the Word of God, therefore, is not an escape from history, but an immersion into earthly realities in order to make them solid, to transform them with love, imprinting on them the sign of eternity, the sign of God. 